You have to imagine you're 14 years old, you've been removed from your family, put in a jumpsuit and you're being held in a detention center, which is essentially, for all intents and purposes, it's, you know, it's a jail or a prison. I mean, it's not a happy place. It's easier for all the players in the system to underestimate just how terrifying that is. Getting to know your kid for who they are, getting to know their family, um, and then really trying to paint a picture of who they, who they are to the judge and what their possibilities are and what their strong um, suits are uh, is just is critical to not allowing the, the judge to just see your kid in a cookie cutter fashion. Reminding your client regularly about the confidentiality that you share because you can say that at the beginning, um, but you have to remind yourself that they don't know you well and they don't know to trust you and they may have reasons not to trust adults. Try to consciously wipe all preconceived notions that you can out of your mind about what you're gonna find um, and then keep doing that. You know, keep checking back in with yourself. Um, we use something called the, the ladder of inference and you can look it up online, but it's this way of kind of making some of your your internal thought processes or your implicit thought processes explicit, which helps you check in with yourself as a lawyer about when you might be, you know, jumping to conclusions without realizing it. Actively challenge any of the laws that try to cast your adolescent client as an adult, because we um, those laws are so much a part of our life now um, that we, I think it's easy to feel um, resigned to them. Your job really is to be in their corner. It's not to judge them, it's to it's to be their counselor.